Well, you guys got another video on Enable Group Policy Editor on Windows Home Editions, whether you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home. So is it possible to enable this feature with a couple of simple commands like I see online? And some of these videos have got like half a million views. So let's take a look here. We've got Windows 11 24H2, uh, and this is the Home Edition for Windows 11. But this will be the same for home editions for Windows 10 as well. Now, I know a lot of people want the group policy editor because they can make policy changes and this will turn off a lot of features that they don't need. So let's open up the run box and type gpedit.msc and you can see on a home edition, it says Windows cannot find gpedit.msc and that is it. You can't use it. But like a lot of... Uh, channels on YouTube say that you could just run a couple of commands or make a batch file and you can run this and basically uh, get it up and running on a home edition of Windows. So that's what we're going to take a look at in today's video and I'll show you a proper way of doing it. So as you can see here, Policy Plus, which I've talked about before, is available on GitHub and they've also got a website here and what this will do is it allow you to use the Group Policy Editor inside Windows Home Editions and it is a very powerful tool and it does work. I'll show you this a little bit later on in the video but first off I want to try to enable the group policy editor for Windows 11 Home. Now I already know the answer to this question but what I'm going to do is play devil's advocate and just go along here and try it. So you can see even on Microsoft's own website people are asking the question enable gpedit msc in home editions so you can see the thread has been locked but if you come down and scroll down there's a bunch of people saying run these commands now these same commands are the same for a lot of youtube videos on youtube telling you to do the same thing and this will enable the group policy editor so let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll copy these and we'll run them and see if it runs or installs or enables the group policy editor for Windows 11 Home or even Windows 10 Home Editions. So let's go to our PC here. I've already got them in a text document and these are the files that all YouTube channels will tell you to install onto the system by using the command prompt. And you can do these one at a time or you can even create a batch file if you want to be flash and do that as well. Either way, it's going to do the same thing. So here we have the file right here so let's go down and take a look i'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see first off you're going to need to show the file extensions here for this particular file so let's go to options on the three dots and we'll go to view and we'll show file extensions here and we'll also show hidden files folders and drives we'll apply this and then okay it and now what we can do is rename this file right here and make it a batch file and you can copy and paste these into the command prompt, but I think running it as a batch file is probably the best way to go because it will do it all for you. So let's go ahead and rename this dot bat like so and say yes. And now you'll see the file has now changed to a batch file. So now what we can do is right click on this one right here and we can either run it from here like so, or we can copy uh, the actual path. So copy as path. And then we're going to open up the command prompt by typing cmd into the search box right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to run this as administrator. And this will open up the command prompt box, say yes to the user account control. And there we go. All we need to do now is right click and paste. And there is our command to run the batch file. And you can see it's starting to add the packages from the Microsoft Windows group policy. Uh, client tools package and you can see it's adding all these in right here so it needs all these files for it to run properly so let's go ahead and do that right here click close and there we go so now what we can do is right click on the start button and go to run and then type inside here the same command gpedit.msc push enter and voila it opens up right here. Now, you might be getting really excited at this point and thinking, hey, that's working. And that's exactly what a lot of these YouTube channels are doing. They're just showing it like that, closing it off and saying, there you go. We've enabled the group policy editor. When you search for GPO or group policy edit, 
or in GP Edit inside here, you'll see it's not visible. It's not there. And that's because it's not the full package and it's not going to work properly. So I'll show you this in a second just to prove it to you. But you can see here, this is where the problem lies. A lot of people will just show this part of the video where they see it opening and then they end the video. And all they're interested in is the actual title of the video to get people to click on it. And again, it gets lots of views. Unfortunately, they're not doing any testing. So let's quickly test it. And I already know the answer to it, but I'll go through and just show you here that what will happen is these policies will not stick. So let's go to Windows Components here. And we're going to go down to App Privacy. And let's choose one of these which we can enable and see whether it actually enables this feature. So we're going to come down and we'll do maybe the location one right here. Double click on this right here. And we'll open this up. And what we're going to do is enable this and we're going to force deny and apply and OK. And again, this is really frustrating for a lot of people because they may be following a lot of these tutorials online. And of course, what happens is they don't work. But yet people go in the comments of those videos and say, fantastic, it really did help me out. Works a treat. And yes, it's turned off, but it was turned off during the installation part when I said no to that feature. So it hasn't set a policy for this. So yes, it's allowing you to open this box up, but it's not allowing you to set policies on the system. Now you may be thinking that I need to just open up command prompt and do this command right here. So we can go in here and type GP update and we can then do space forward slash false. And this will then force the system to update the policies. And we'll do that right here just to prove a point. And you can see it's updated successfully. And what we'll do here is we'll now go back into the settings panel and we will go back to privacy and security and then go to location. And you can see there is no policy set on here. It's not working. So maybe we need to restart the PC. You shouldn't be able to turn this on and off because if that was a policy set in place, it would stop you from doing that. So let's quickly restart the system and see whether that actually works when we restart the PC. And then you'll get to the point of at this stage, being frustrated that you spent a ton of time setting loads of policies and guess what's going to happen? They're not going to work. And that's the frustrating part with people making tutorials and not finishing off the actual uh, part of the video which shows it actually working. They're skipping that part. And that's what a lot of YouTubers do just for the clicks and for the title. And they have to spend no time testing. So let's go back into the uh, location area here and you can see the policy is not set okay so what we're going to do here now is we're going to delete all of the policies that we've just set up here uh, by going to uh, file explorer here and we'll go into the policy settings here and i'll delete these and we will use a uh, policy plus now i know a lot of people might not want to use another option but this is the only option that is actually working as far as i can see because I've tried all of these and they don't work. So we're going to head over to Policy Plus here, download their little executable file. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to run this and say yes to the user account control here. And this is it right here. So let's go back to the location. You can see user or computer or both. So we're going to leave it on both. And what we'll do is we'll go to that same policy. I'm going to go Windows Components right here. And we're going to come on down to app privacy. And you can see there's no configuration done. So let's go ahead and do the, uh, let's do something else here and try one of these other ones maybe. And we'll test a couple of these. So we can do location right here. False deny. Apply and OK. That's the location. And then let's go ahead and do one more here. Let's we'll do notifications right here. Enable this, force deny, apply and OK. And don't forget, you need to save this. So go to File, Save Policies. If you don't do this, the policy won't be saved. And you can see Success. Policy has been saved. So let's now go down to the Start button, go Settings, and then go to Privacy and Security, and then come down to Location, and voila, there we go. 
Some of these settings are managed by your organization. They're all grayed out and it's all turned off. So when you go through all of the policies in, in Policy Plus, it is going to literally work, whereas the other method just does not work. And there's the notifications all turned off and grayed out so you can't mess with them. This is the way to do it for home users instead of doing stupid stuff like going into the actual uh, command prompt and trying to enable it that way and get it to work. Now, they've got all of the policies in here. If you want to follow some of my videos, some of the group policy videos will work, but I have done a full video on Policy Plus on how to set this up and get all of the settings turned on if you want to use this method. If you don't want to run any sort of scripts on your PC, this is the way forward because you can save this and copy it over to other computers or even when you reinstall the PC, you can enable all your policies by doing that. Anyway, I hope this video has been informative and helpful. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I appreciate the support. Catch you in the next video or on the Discord server. Links in the video description. Bye for now.